So I've been asked some questions about carrot sizes. I guess we're going with carrots today. Um, I don't remember exactly what I've been asked, but you might hear some like me typing sounds because I'm going to just look some things up. Um, but the question I've been asked was, do you think a big carrot is better? Like is bigger, better? And um, I guess there's a lot of different answers about this. So first of all, I remember there's this girl I follow on Instagram and she's like, you know, an OF type of girl. And she put in her story, she's like, she does not like big carrots. Like that's not her thing. And honestly, when I buy carrots in the store, I actually don't buy big carrots. <laughs> this is a disclaimer. I guess we are going to talk about carrots today. But she mentioned um, big carrots are a no-no for her. And uh, she likes average or small. And then some of her followers make fun of her saying, oh, you like small carrots. Again, this is going to be a question for, you know, like a question that you want to ask just to get a general answer. But there is no general answer to this. Meaning, if you feel like, you know, you're dating a girl or something and you're insecure about your carrot size because you think maybe you're too small or you think you're too big or whatever experience you have haunts you. Again, your carrot is going to be viewed different with different girls. If a girl is clearly um, a less experienced, she's probably not going to want a big carrot, okay? Um, and if you do have a big carrot, then you just need to be patient because clearly less experience doesn't know how to handle that. Um, there is a lot of girls out there who have something called, um, I don't even know what the word is. I'm going to Google it. Give me one second. Okay. It's, um, I'm not going to spell it, but it's V-A-G-I-N-I-S-M-U-S. -I -I Basically tightness down there for girls, right? And... You have to be patient, like not every girl can take a carrot and um, people will always say, oh, try different positions, um, whatever. But the real point of this audio is not really to talk about carrot sizes, even though I did talk about carrot sizes for quite some time right now, but it's mainly to say, if you want to know what I like, well, if you are a huge carrot, I probably need some training. So if you're in the mood for training, then sure, I'll try. If you are small, it doesn't mean I think, you know, it's so tiny. Because actually, if you guys didn't know, the thin carrots in the store that they sell by bunches are actually much sweeter than the big thick carrots. So I have a thing against small carrots. Um, and it's really not the carrot size for me that makes the experience the best. It's the emotions, right? It's what are we feeling at the moment? Are we both in agreement? Are we losing our mind? Are we doing things that each other we like, like both of us like? But if you want my final judgment, it's really how clean you keep yourself. So, and this depends on culture, I think also. Like, you know, some girls don't want to see hair. Some girls want to see a little bit of hair and it goes both ways, right? So I like clean, meaning take a shower, <laughs> Use some body wash. Clean. That's just me. 
uh, but I'm not really picky. Unless you're dirty. And I know some people do like dirty, actually, but that's not me. And I feel like also if you tell me don't shower, I cannot do that. Like I, that's a big no-no for me. Like I think there's a lot of things that people will say is a no-no, but for me telling me not to shower is my no-no. Like I must shower. Like that's my thing. It's always been my thing. Yeah, but overall, don't worry if you're small, if you're big, if you're average, it doesn't matter. And the truth is, with the way our society is going, about maybe hmm, 60% of girls, I would say, don't even care about your carrot size. They care about the size of your bank account. That is true facts. So there, I'm glad I answered all your questions. Come back next time to my TED Talk. Bye.